Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make these white chocolate covered pretzels. And I'm also gonna teach you how to make this really cute 4th of July snack tray. Welcome to Food Crazed. We're gonna melt chocolate in a double boiler. So a small saucepan with an inch of water and add a larger bowl over the top. To this bowl, we need to add two cups of white chocolate chips. Turn the heat on to a medium to medium high heat, and we need to occasionally stir these chocolate chips as they're melting. Once the chocolate is fully melted, it's ready to go and move on to the next step. Drop pretzels into the melted chocolate, turning them around with a fork. And then I like to take it and just kind of jiggle it back and forth just a little bit to get some of the excess chocolate to drip off. And you can even scrape the bottom with a second fork and that helps. And then place it onto some wax paper or parchment paper or aluminum foil and repeat the process again. I left my bowl over the saucepan that had the hot boiling water as this just kept the white chocolate nice and creamy and smooth and still melted while I did this. This amount of chocolate will make about 80 chocolate covered pretzels and now just let them set up for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and collect everything we need to put together our flag snack tray. To start, we need some fresh strawberries that have been washed and halved. I'm using about 32 ounces of strawberries for this, or you could say two pounds of strawberries. Now just lay them out in rows on a rectangular serving platter, and you can even fill it in with additional berries on top of those rows to really fill it in. Okay, for this we also need some blueberries. One 18 ounce container of fresh blueberries will work great. And I went ahead and made a little paper origami um, rectangular box for my serving platter. And I'm gonna put a link down below to a video on how to make that. These chocolate covered pretzels are fully set up and ready to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and put them onto our tray and fill it in between the rows. Our 4th of July snack tray is all set up, ready to go and looking gorgeous. I'll put a link below to the full recipe on this. I really do hope you try this snack tray for the 4th of July. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more yummy recipes. Thanks again for watching.